We all know the story by now. Sunita William and Butch Wilmore went up for what was supposed to be eight days, but they came back after two eighty six, nearly ten months in space. But let's talk about the question no one's asking: How did they even change spacecrafts in space? And what happens to the human body when it's up there way longer than planned? For all you curious minds and future astronauts, this one's for you. I am Aisha, and I'm Lena, and this is the top two podcast where we say. No fluff, just good stuff. For the first time in U.S. space flight history, astronaut launched abroad a spacecraft from one commercial company, Boeing Starliner, and returned on a different company's spacecraft, SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Sunita William and Butch Wilmore blasted off aboard Boeing Starliner, planning to stay just eight days. But when things went wrong, thrusters failed, helium leaked, NASA grounded their ride in space. So how do you bring two astronauts home when their ships can't fly? You call SpaceX. NASA sent up Crew Dragon. It's like calling an Uber after your car breaks down mid-orbit. But instead of waiting on the curb, imagine both cars parked in the same garage. That garage is the International Space Station. Both the broken Starliner and the rescue crew Dragon were docked, safely sealed and connected to the ISS. Sunita William and Butch Wilmore transferred from Boeing Starliner to SpaceX's Crew Dragon entirely inside the International Space Station ISS without a spacewalk, without exiting into space. The ISS is made up of an interconnected pressurized module like rooms or hallways. Both Starliners and Crew Dragon docked to the ISS at different ports. The astronauts simply floated through the ISS from one spacecraft to another. This does not require a spacesuit because the in- environment inside ISS is temperature and pressure controlled, just like the inside of an airplane. They grabbed their gear, sealed their hatch behind them, and sat down in a completely different ship than in the one they arrived. From Boeing to SpaceX's, from breakdown to backups, all inside a floating lab, four hundred kilometers above the Earth. They spent two eighty six days in space. The body isn't built for that. Your bone loses calcium, muscles shrink, blood flows upward, eyes get blurry. Sunita and Butch had to relearn how to walk, rebuild strength, and even adapt to Earth's gravity. Like toddlers finding balance for the first time, they walk. They were never meant to be up that long, but their bodies bore the mission like real heroes. And as of now, they both are finally back on Earth, safe and sound. Sunita William is spending time with her family, her dog, her mom, and sharing her experience with the young women in STEM. She's also helping NASA review long duration effects on astronaut Butch Wilmore. He is consulting directly with engineers at Boeing and NASA, working on fixing the Starliner issues that stranded them. And both still say they'd fly again if the opportunity arises. All right, and this gets us to our top two takeaways from this historic swap. On to the first: swapping spacecrafts in orbit. Isn't normal. It's historic, and it's a reminder that no matter how advanced we get, backup plan saves life. Second one being that our body is much tougher than tech. Starliner broke, but Sunita William and Butch they did not. They endured, adapted, and came back stronger. If you didn't know the story, now you do. At top two, and if it moved you, share it because astronauts don't just fly. They fight to come back home. We are Aisha and Lena, and this is Top Two Podcast, where real stories become unforgettable. Catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.